All right, guys, so I was sick during January and February, and you know, that's why I haven't released a whole lot of new content. However, I am feeling great now, and I have so many different ideas for videos, including, you know, fish videos, uh, equipment, and, you know, top 10 videos. So please like and subscribe. That way you can see that future content. If you have any questions throughout the video, just drop those in the section below, and I will be sure to get back to you guys. Um, so let's get right into what I think has contributed to the most, you know, the success of our Waterbox 20 Cube. Um, the number one thing that I think has helped us throughout our journey is frequent water changes. Now we do a 25% water change every single Sunday. We have not missed a single water change thus far. And that's huge, you know, uh, constantly changing out that water, you know, getting rid of all the bad, you know, bad nutrients inside your fish tank and just making sure that you're, um, you know, being consistent about it, I think is a very big step. Um, so yes, definitely make sure that you have a schedule for your water changes and stick with it. There's plenty of people that can eventually get out of having to do those water changes, but it's not for beginners. I would definitely suggest that you have a consistent schedule about that and stick to it. Now, the second most important thing that I think is attributed to our success so far uh, with the Waterbox 20 Cube is making sure that you are constantly keeping an eye out for creeping problems such as sick illness, sickness, algae, diatons, etc. cetera. Um, fortunately, we haven't had any issues with algae or diatoms yet. Um, that's yet. And I think that's largely due to some factors I'll talk about, but no issues with that so far. Um, you know, the second part of that is we have had some issues with illness with our fish. And I think that's largely due to not quarantining your fish or having an observation period. I won't lie to you guys, I don't have an observation tank or a quarantine tank. Um, and I think that has caused some problems for us. Uh, I will be doing videos here in the future because I do plan on setting up a quarantine tank over the next, um, probably in about two weeks or so. So I will be making a video on that and I hope you guys, you know, follow that journey as well. Uh, but, you know, those between algae and fish illnesses, you know, I got fortunate in one and less fortunate in another and I'll talk about that more. So just keeping an eye, for, you know, keeping an eye out on you know, everything that's going on in your tank. Once you set it up, you know, the job isn't done. It never is, truly. You always gotta keep an eye out on your tank to make sure you can see those changes, make sure all of your little guys are healthy and whatnot. So, uh, the third thing is, is, you know, we've added some equipment, which I think has helped us tremendously, such as an auto top off. I did a video on that, please check that out. Uh, the JBJ Nano Auto Top Off huge you know it saves a lot of time and prevents you from having to do the stuff that you don't really enjoy doing like topping off water and it gives you more time to do things that you thoroughly enjoy like you know feeding those fish and seeing those corals you know do super well and you know it it's more of an enjoyable experience if you purchase some of these tools in order to kind of streamline the whole tank owning experience for you Another thing, you know, in the equipment category is a protein skimmer. It's, you know, it makes a major difference in your tank. Um, as you can see, mine's about half full behind me. I haven't cleaned it out in a day or two. And it's, it's I mean, it's solid muck. You know, skim eight is all in there and it's filtering all that garbage out of our tank and uh, preventing it from breaking down. So absolutely worth it. Um, there's some other things that I'll talk about in future videos, but you know, those two things I think are the biggest contributors. Um, you know, so I do plan on releasing more videos on, you know, the different fish and you know, what I think about them and whatnot, but just to give you a quick rundown, some of the fish that we've added to our tank are this, uh, we started off with two, uh, Ocellaris clownfish. Uh, we also added the... The second fish I think we got was the Aptasia eating file fish. Um, love that little guy. Yeah, very friendly, gets along well with others, and it's just super cool. Um, we've added a purple tang, which 
For all you Tang police, he's a very tiny little Tang and he will not be living in here permanently. Um, I know some people are like, well, you shouldn't even start him off in that, but I promise you the tank that we got him from at the pet store was a lot smaller than this tank. So he will be moving into a 75 or larger tank. We actually already have a 75 gallon that's, uh, that will be getting started as soon as we move into our new house here soon. So don't worry, he's gonna be well taken care of. Um, the other fish that we added is a six line wrasse. And we also added a skunk cleaner shrimp and a diamond watchman goby. So those are the fish that we added. We also added some pom-pom crabs. We have two of those in there. If you, have, if you don't know what a pom-pom crab is, you should look up some videos. They're super cool and I'll be sure to release some videos as well here in the near future. Um, the other things that we had actually, little guys actually came out and he's to the bottom corner of our tank right now. So um, they're normally pretty skittish, but every once in a while they'll come out and just fly all over the place. Um, some of the other things that we added is we added one sexy shrimp, which I haven't seen in a couple days, but doesn't mean he's not in there because they're normally pretty shy. Um, also added some bumblebee shrimp, which if you don't know what those are, um, definitely recommend checking those out as well because they do eat those little starfish in your tank and but they don't rely on them like your harlequin shrimp do so kind of cool because they'll survive after the fact and you don't have to chop up uh, chocolate stars in order to feed them after the fact so um, added a turbo snail which surprisingly has outlasted our troca snails you know our local fish store told me that the troca snails will survive longer because they can self right but our turbo snail has been a beast and he is such a cleaner like i thought the troca snails did work but this turbo snail does his job he keeps he feeds all day on the you know the you know, the small like um you know the gunk that builds up on the back uh, back wall of the tank and we just leave that for him um but yeah those are some of the things that we've added i have a added a ton of new corals but i'm not going to get into those in this video so please again follow uh, our journey here subscribe and i will mention those in future videos so if you guys have any questions about some of the things that we're doing or comments please drop them below and i will be sure to get back to you guys um, other than that i hope you have a fantastic day happy reefing and uh, everybody stay safe out there with covid so